all right guys well welcome back to another video i have a spontaneous day out so i figured it might be a good one to vlog considering i don't leave my house a lot <laughs> but my husband had a like lunch meeting um out of town not like far but in another town and there's a lot of different stores here than there are where we live and gas prices are high so he was like hey do you want to just do some shopping while i'm at lunch and I was like, yeah, actually I do. Now I said different stores. I'm about to walk into a Dollar Tree. <laughs> we have those where I live, um, but um, they're different everywhere. And right next to it is a five below. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll see what else. I only have a couple hours um, and I do not know my way around here. I just took the longest route possible to get here after dropping Jesse off um, using my Google maps, but um, I don't, I didn't think it was a good idea or I don't think it did a good job. I don't even know what I'm saying. Well, let's go do some shopping and I don't know, we'll see what the rest of the day holds. Um, but I'll probably take you through till the remainder of the day is my thought. I don't think I've ever been to the cellar tree before and it's interesting because I, it's in a nicer area and it's a big store, but it's like kind of dirty and a mess. But it's big and they have um, a Dollar Tree Plus section, which I'll try to show you if there's nobody in that aisle. I still struggle filming in front of people, <laughs> trying to get over that. I'm mostly looking at craft stuff just because that's what I'm into. What do you like to look at at the Dollar Tree? Do you like the Dollar Tree? What do you shop there for? Do you like the food, the snacks, kids' toys, crafting stuff? What do you like there? I'm curious. Cause I don't always look through all of the aisles, but maybe there's some like things I should be looking at that I don't think to look for. So let me know. I pretty much have a one track mind. I go straight for like crafting stuff, but there's other stuff here. So I think the Dollar Tree Plus section's not bad. I have picked up a couple things. I picked up something like this, but it had like a white planter. Um, it's not bad. It's not like, the most exciting thing in the world, but it's not bad. And I feel like a lot of the stuff's $5. Some of the stuff is a three. Again, this store I feel like is quite a mess. Um, I'm kind of surprised just based on its location, but they have some nicer like crafting stuff too, but I'm always looking for the cheapest things possible to make over. <laughs> Um, but they have some neat stuff for sure. I didn't get a ton and I didn't film a ton, obviously, but I'm going to head into Five Below now and see. I haven't been in one of those in a while. So let's see what they're like. So in case you didn't know, Dollar Tree is now $1.25 plus items up to $5 and Five Below is no longer items $5 and less. <laughs> oh... I guess I'm at that age already where I'm able to say, I remember when. At this store, nothing used to be more than $5. Still see what the, gonna still check out what they've got, but $25 items, kind of disappointing. And now I feel awkward because I'm filming and I was filming before. And there's people in here that were just in the other store I was in, at Dollar Tree. We keep like bumping into each other. So now it's kind of awkward for me. Great camera spot. I could not keep filming in there. I couldn't even stay in very long. Not impressed. And um, so many people in there had just been in the Dollar Tree with me. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. But I did get myself a candy bar at the Dollar Tree. I got a couple things, nothing crazy. I got some little, hang on. All right. I put you in my holder. It's better. I got a couple of these little easels. I wanted some nicer ones, but they're so expensive, like for nicer ones. And sometimes I want stuff that I'm not hanging on a wall, but I need something to lean it on. So I just got two of these. I figured for $1.25, they're not bad. I mean, you only see like this part of it anyway, because everything else gets covered by like whatever picture you're putting in there. 
picked up these. Usually I show crafting stuff on my other channel. I have, I have another channel if you're not aware. It's simply enjoying crafting. Um, but I didn't really get a lot. So I got these because these will probably be good for some fall DIYs. And yeah, I'm not, I'm not rushing summer, but I'll probably be doing fall DIYs in August because if you're making stuff for fall, you need to make it before fall. So if August will probably be when fall videos start because you need to make things ahead of time. Anyways, and I picked this up, which is actually pretty cute, but I'll probably DIY it. And then I picked up some super glue gel because they have the three pack. Usually it's a two pack and Gotta take advantage of that. Anyways, I got Snickers. These are still only a dollar. And I'm gonna eat this, but I think I'm going to go to a Target. Um, because I think there's one nearby and I don't have one in our town. I'm not like a huge Target fan, but um, I mean it's nice, but I'm not just I'm not someone who's like, I gotta get the Target, but I like it when I can go and I like to check out the dollar spot. So I think that's where we're headed next. At least their bullseye playground still seem to be five dollars and under. I can't believe I'm saying this because I lot think that Target has high prices on a lot of stuff, but their quality and prices in their bullseye playground or Target dollar spot, whatever you choose to call it, is pretty good compared to the other stuff I've been looking at today. Yeah. learned something about myself recently and today confirmed it. I don't enjoy shopping as much as I used to. I enjoy grocery shopping. I know a lot of people don't like grocery shopping. I like grocery shopping. I mean, not like I like it like I want to do it more than I need to, <laughs> but I like it. Anyway, I just bought a couple things. I did buy this. I will probably actually DIY these, but um, they're cute on their own, but I don't, I've already done my patriotic decor and this is a little more neutral than my patriotic decor is. Um, I like a lot of neutral stuff, but for see holidays and stuff, I usually go pretty traditional in the colors. So, but I thought those would be fun to DIY. That was only $3. And then I picked up this little plant. It was only $3 too. Once this tag comes off, I can fluff it out better, but I may end up painting this um, just because it, you know, the color, it would look good with my patriotic stuff, but then after that, not really. So, but I do like to DIY stuff, but this was only $3 and I can't DIY something like this for less than $3. So I like little full plants around. And then I did pick up a drink at Starbucks, which I'm not a huge Starbucks person. Let me know. Are you guys like... Starbucks fan, a Dunkin' fan, a whatever fan. I am also not a coffee drinker, if you did not know, so that might have something to do with it. I'm also cheap, but um, anyways, I picked up a chai, iced chai tea latte with a pump of vanilla, and I've never had it there before, and I, it's pretty good. Um, I'm glad, because I've gotten it before at Dunkin', and it's gross. It's cheap, it's very cheap there, but it's gross, um, at least in my opinion. So anyways, um, this was actually pretty good. I usually just make these at home, but, um, and I used to pick them up like once a week at a local cafe, um, cause I liked supporting local business and it's fun to just treat yourself sometimes. Um, and I really liked the owner, but the owner has since sold the cafe. I don't even know if it's reopened by the people who bought it, but I, and I'm sure I'll check it out, but like, I don't know that I'll frequent it that much. Plus this saves me money not getting it out but um I went partially because I like to see her and obviously I like the drink as well so anyways I've tried, treated myself I haven't bought one of these out in months so I haven't really eaten much today so I figured I would do this and I'm going to go head back to pick up Jesse so maybe I'll see you at home we'll see what the rest of the day holds we're gonna I think just head back 
All right, so when I came to pick up Jesse, he actually isn't quite ready yet, and I realized where he was eating at, and there's some antique shops, I think, so I'm gonna walk around and rouse them a little bit. That's more my shopping style. Not that I buy a lot of it, but it's more fun for me to browse at. It has been so excessively hot lately. Are these places closed? Goodness gracious, that one's closed. It's been so hot lately and humid. Today is gorgeous. I mean, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt, but I'm not like uncomfortable or anything. So it's a nice day to walk a cute little street. Let's just hope that some of these places are actually open. I don't know why they're not. It's a neat little place. I've been here once or twice before. I thought that's a really cute sign on that towel. <laughs> oh gosh. These are cool. All right, 83, 67. They're wax covered. That's right. Sarah, remember you. This little shop is just the cutest. I've only been in it a couple times, but it's so fun to browse and the owner is super, super sweet. And um, that's what I was waiting for my husband. And she said, just have a seat outside on the rocking chair. And I was like, I think I might just do that. I almost bought the little um, bottles of simple syrup that I think I showed you, but I can't figure out what to do with them. I checked the website. It looks like they're made from a place in um, Nashville. So I'm trying not to buy stuff that I don't know that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna keep, I uh, do some research on it. If you've ever used those kinds of things, I mean, I know you can make like drinks with them and Italian sodas with them. Sorry, it's kind of loud. Um, but the recipes I was seeing was using like half the bottle. People were coming out of the door and I didn't wanna keep talking. Um, it looked like you used like half the bottle for like a drink and it was like $6 for it. So I didn't really wanna do that. But um, I guess you can do baking with it and stuff, which I'm not sure about because it's got like fruity flavors. And so I was thinking if I could find stuff that you would just use like a tablespoon or two, then it would be like a fun thing to try. So I really shouldn't be so self-conscious about recording in front of people because in this day and age, everyone is talking to the phone and taking pictures and like doing all the things because of social media. But like, I'm not that person. So it's kind of awkward for me. Anyways, I did get some penny candy, or what I consider penny candy. So I got some candy sticks. They were three for a dollar, I think. 
I got one of the honey sticks. And then she also had like a uh, saltwater taffy for five cents each. So I got just a few of those. It's not like a dollar sixty. Um, I love that there are still places where you can buy like cheap little penny candy because I have so many good memories as a kid um, of that kind of thing. And I'm glad that it still exists some places. Um, so anyways, that was a fun little nostalgic store for me. <laughs> I found this guy and we stopped at Circle K. What's up guys? To get buy one, get one free frosters. So, so far today, sorry, that's kind of blocking the gear thing. Um, so far today, I've had a, a string cheese, Snickers bar, and a nice chai tea latte, and a froster, so. A lot of liquid. But I took my supplements this morning, so that's gotta count for something. I think we're headed home now, so. Nope. Uh, where are we headed? Food line. Oh, yeah, we gotta pick up lettuce and tomato. I have, oh, not lettuce and tomato, tomato and cucumber. Um, we still have lettuce and just brought out of the other stuff, so. Then we're going home. It's a big knife to be chopping that egg with. <laughs> we're having some, I guess, chef salads. I got ham and bacon and egg, and he's got pepperoni, ham and bacon, and, oh, and banana peppers. Gonna add some croutons and some Italian dressing. And this is our easy dinner for tonight. We have been enjoying these lately. These are kind of big salads, but, but it's salad, so it's okay. All right, guys, so I realized I kind of just didn't end the video from, well, that was from yesterday. So that was just kind of the end of it. We had our salads for dinner and then we had a FaceTime meeting in the evening and chilled the rest of the day. So. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me. I am trying to do more vlogs. I hope that you guys will stick around and enjoy them. I'm not saying that's all I'm gonna do, but I hope that you stick around and kind of see what may happen with my channel. I have recorded a lot of vlogs that I never put out and I'm trying to just get better at it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.